All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x. So what I'm going to do is first start by dividing both sides by 9 to the power of x. So this means that I get 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now, 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, those two cancel out, and I get 1. So I have 1 plus 12 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now, from here, I can rewrite this as 12 over 9 to the power of x. And 16 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, I can rewrite this as 16 over 9 to the power of x. Now, 12 over 9, that simplifies to 4 over 3. And 16 over 9, that simplifies to 4 squared over 3 squared. Now, 4 squared over 3 squared, that's the same thing as 4 over 3 squared. And now I have this to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So 4 over 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, I can rewrite that as 4 over 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. And now I'm going to let 4 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable u. So if I substitute in u for 4 over 3 to the power of x, I get 1 plus u is equal to u squared. And now if I subtract u and 1 on both sides, these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I get u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this equation, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get u is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 1 squared, which is positive 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times b, which is negative 1 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So we have u is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, remember how we let 4 over 3 to the power of x equal to u. Well, this means that 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, this gives me two equations. I get 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and I get 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And notice how this is a positive number to some power. Well, you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative, meaning there's no solution to this equation, and all that's left is this equation. So, to solve this equation, what I'm going to do is start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 4 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. 
In this case, I have log 4 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 4 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now that x is a term, we can, we can isolate it by dividing both sides by log 4 over 3. So when these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 4 over 3. And log 4 over 3, I can rewrite that as log 4 minus log 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my original equate, uh, sorry, original problem here. So I rewrite 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. And now this is the same thing as, you can rewrite 901 as 900 plus 1. So this is the same thing as 9, 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. Now, there is an important exponential property that you guys should know. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, we have 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And using this property, we can rewrite it as 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 900 and, or sorry, 9 to the power of 1. Now from here, notice how we have two terms here. Our first term is 9 to the power of 900, and our second term is 9 to the, 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So because both of our terms have 9 to the power of 900 in them, we can factor that out. So we can factor our 9 to the power of 900, and we get 9 to the power of 900 times, well, 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is 1, minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is simply just 9 to the power of 1. So I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify what's in my parentheses here. 1 minus 9 is negative 8, so I have 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. And I can rewrite negative 8 as... 8 times negative 1. And now I'm going to multiply negative 1 with 9 to the power of 900. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. Now from here, I'm going to, I can rewrite my 9 here as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of 900 times 8. And now 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So I have ne negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. And now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this can equal negative 
3 to the power of 2 times 900. And now I have this times 2 to the power of 3. And if you guys already didn't know, 2, to the power, two times 900 is 1,800. So I have negative 3 to the power of 1,800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is our answer in its most simplified form. We can't, if, if you want, you can try putting in three to the power of 1800, but that number is way too big for any calculator to actually be able to output. So this is the simplest form that we can put our answer in. So that is our answer to nine to the power of 900 minus nine to the power of 901 and see how much big of a difference it is.